Hello, Hero Camp. I have a very special hero today to talk with you. And I want to tell you that she at one time was sitting right where you are in webcam. And now she is a world gold medalist. She is a Pan Am medalist. She's a gold medalist and a silver medalist at Pan Ams. And she is really vying for one of our spots on our next Olympic team. So maybe you're guessing it is Riley McCusker. Thanks, <laughs> girl, for being here. Yeah, thank you. So Riley, we are focusing on heroes. And um, I want to start off by asking you, who are some of your biggest heroes that have inspired you? So I have a couple different heroes. Me personally, like my personal heroes are definitely my parents because they've just been there for me through my entire journey. And they're the people that I know who want 100% the best for me, no matter what. Um, and I think that's really important to have that kind of support system, especially in a hard sport like gymnastics. Um, but one of my other heroes that I really look up to is Katrin, David's daughter. I love her whole personality and everything. She's always so positive and has like the best outlook on pretty much all the situations she like gets herself into. And she's also a pretty great athlete. So I would say she's my other hero. That's awesome. All right. So we have all dealt with adversities and challenges in gymnastics and, you know, so much of them challenge our mental toughness. What do you think are some adversities that you have dealt with through your career? Well, I've actually recently dealt with probably the biggest adversity that I have so far. And that was me kind of being in a really tough coaching situation and just knowing that I needed to get out of there for my health and just it's what I needed to do for myself. And so I moved across the country and I'm now in Arizona and I'm actually really loving gymnastics again. And I think that change um, was really the best thing for me. So. Wow, that's amazing. And it takes, I mean, it takes so much courage to do that, you know, to realize that. So do you feel like moving and, and being with your coaches now have helped like almost like rekindle your love for gymnastics? Yeah, absolutely. Like I was in a really hard place when I was still kind of going through all of that back um, in New Jersey. But now I almost feel free and I can kind of just focus on my gymnastics and I like have fallen in love with it again. And it's really like cool kind of feeling. Yay, you're free, you're free. We talk a lot about freeing yourself and you have to free yourself, I think, to be a good gymnast because if you have all this weight on you, you're like too tight and too heavy and it's, you can't do gymnastics when you're feeling all that emotional heaviness, you know? No, absolutely not. Right. It drains you after a while. Yeah. So what are some of the tools that you have used in this situation and others that have really helped you push through challenges? Um, definitely, I would say take, like, my whole thing with gymnastics is that you have to take it one step at a time. Like, you have to look at one little thing you're doing and concentrate and focus on that before you can move on to the next thing. And I feel like after you do that, you can look back at all the progress you've made, but not until you focused on every little step that you can basically not focus on the big picture, if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah. So really focus on one step at a time and move forward mm -hmm. one step at a time. Yeah. Well, I know that you are a web camper and you work a lot on your mental toughness. I know that you do that. Um, can you tell us what are some of your mental toughness tools that you feel like you still use? Like if you use mental choreography or if you like if you use like getting into your bubble or your emotional control girls, what are some of the things you use with your mental toughness? 
Yeah, I absolutely still use mental choreography with every piece of my gymnastics. I feel like that really helps me. Um, I also use like a lot of positive words and phrases I know before I go for like a vault or I have like specific things I like to say to make me kind of focus in on what I need to do and also like kind of make me believe that, okay, I'm going to make this because I have like a positive mindset towards it. Mm -hmm. Good. So if you were to give one piece of advice, like think about the little Riley that was sitting in webcam. If you were to give one piece of advice to these athletes going through what they're going through right now or going through any adversity, what would you say? I'd say just honestly, don't give up. Gymnastics is hard, like no matter who you are, if you're like an elite gymnast or if you're like a level four just starting, it's hard. Like there's going to be good days and bad days. And I feel like once you realize that, that it's going to be, there are going to be bad days for everyone, um, that it'll be a lot easier to just keep going. You know, like there'll be good days after that. Good. All right, you guys, you heard that. You have to embrace the bad days and then keep going. All right, one more secret question. So again, this is Be Your Own Hero Camp. So you are one of our heroes. And if you had a superpower, if it was the Riley superpower that you have, what would you say your biggest superpower is? Oh, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'd want my superpower to just be to dazzle everyone every time like I'm in their presence. I think that'd be a cool superpower. That's awesome. All right. You are our dazzler, Riley. Thank you so much for coming to talk to us. And we'll be cheering for you all this year. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And good luck with your upcoming gymnastics events and everything. All right. Bye. Bye.